All right, buddy. So what's your name and where are you from? What's up, man? It's Big Matt. I'm from Florida. Big Matt from Florida. And I know of you from old Viking. Old Viking, man. He sent me your way. And, I, I, you know, you got content on your channel I've seen. I just brushed through it. I haven't seen too much of it or heard any of your story for the most part. But, uh, hey, man, right you're, from, you're from Florida. So I can only imagine it's probably a, a little bit of a wild trip, man. What the hell sent you to the pen? How long did you do? What did you do? Man, I've been at uh, I've been at Chingang twice, bro. Uh, first time I had got I got set up, I got some sale charges, and uh, second time I got battery on law enforcement. So I've been twice. I've been to some pretty rough camps, man. Uh, I got a lot of stories, but uh, yeah, twice, man. Twice I've been in. Ever been through the JIT camps? No, not JIT camp. I uh, I passed through that part, man. Cut. But I listen to your channel a lot, man. I've been. I've been watching you for a long time, and the the, the Florida jit camps, man. The, those all those stories are a hundred percent. They're all right, man. It's like a that's like a horror movie. Nobody really wants to go there, but if you yeah. go there, going through it, man, you're going yeah. through it. Yeah, I've been fascinated ever since I heard uh, Jake's story for the first time, man. And then a bunch of people started coming my way about jit camps, and they're all pretty much the same damn thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, pretty, pretty much for the most part. Uh, it, it's it's it, you know you're gonna have to put your hands up you're gonna have to be throwing some fights or you can be getting jumped or whatever the case is sounds treacherous man but you know the adult side is a totally different ball game in itself and it could be very very dangerous uh if not more dangerous you know but um okay so you had assault on a leo law enforcement i'm guessing yep. that puts you in a violent prison yeah your custody's already is going to be in a different, you know what I mean? You're automatically going to have shit custody because, you know, violent charges, they're going to put you in a different type of dorm. You're not going to be so low level, stuff like that. Well, going back to what you were saying about jit camps, you know, they are treacherous and all that. Adult, adult side can be a little bit more lax, but you have to realize, man, a lot, the jits can only be in there so long and they, they, they move on over to the adults and they bring all the dumb stupidness right over there and the craziness, you know what I mean? And it, 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 so it's like a constant, it's a constant crazy wave in Florida. So would you say that the old heads or people that have done some time, they're not really old heads yet. Maybe, you know, pushing 40 years old, they see these young bucks come in. Are those the ones that are button heads with them? You know, is, is that the ones that usually get to fight and is the old heads and those young jits coming in? Yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent. And a lot of people, they're coming from jit camps where they're off the off the meat rack over there with the violence and the extorting and all that, and they come into the adult camps, you know, bringing it with them. But they're trying to make a name for themselves because they're already established there, and they're just all the craziness is over here. And you got people that are just trying to do their time, work out, and they're just not having it, man. So exactly, man. It, it goes to crashing, you know, they, it, it gets tore up in there, you know what I mean? You know, there's a lot of people, man. I mean, we hear a lot about the gang life and shit like that, but for real, the majority of people, for the most part, at least what I've seen, they just want to do their damn time and go home, man. You know, they just want to do their time, maybe learn a few things, and go the hell home. I mean, yeah, anywhere, I think anywhere you go, you're going to have cats that are just trying to do their time, you know what I mean, and don't want any any of that drama or anything like that, but it, there's it's so many gangs, man. Um, there's so many gangs here. Uh, you have, like, your big gangs and stuff like that, and then they have, I don't know how Virginia does it, but you have a lot of home team cliques. Um, you know, the county that you got sentenced out of, that can almost get to be, it, it is, that, that's like a set, you, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. So some of them dudes, they, they're just, you know, doing their time, doing their thing, but you're not going to let anybody, no organization, jump on somebody from your county because nine times out of ten, when your bid is done, you have a possibility of running into that person you know, or, or you may know that person's family, friends, somebody out there. And you know what I mean? So it's crazy, bro. Even like there's trauma everywhere, I guess I could say. Well, let me ask you this, man. When uh... – you said, you know, 
areas become clicks sometimes for the most part, you know? Yeah. If you, if you were to see someone or someone were to get locked up for the first time and they're from a certain area, what area do you think would be the best area to be getting locked up from when it comes to numbers and, A, they're respected, that area, you know? I You know. Not respect, but kind of like, you know what, he's going to be all right because – He's from that area, and that area has a uh, lot of a lot of people. And a hey, he's gonna be all right, probably. You know what I mean? Uh, anybody, a lot of anything down south, man. Uh, anything south of Orlando, for sure. You're gonna have just a squad of people in there that have already that that have respect, like you're saying. Um, you know, anything south of Orlando, St. Lucie, Broward, Miami, Palm Beach, all them, all them, they already have established. With that letter on your chest, you know you already know those people are gonna they're gonna go in behind it. As far as like someone who's coming in for their first time, that that doesn't need to have that doesn't need to have that that respect or yeah, you don't need to have that thing behind them. You know, it would probably be best for you to be from like a really small town. You know, it's like a instead of your letter on your chest, you have a question mark. You know, they don't you I'm can not, kind of, of adapt into anything. Yeah, exactly. Is that really? Is that usually what happens? Let's say someone's from Sputnik Town with population of fifteen. Uh, they're probably just going to fold up with whoever they kind of get along with, huh? For the most part, yeah, or they, if they're gang banging. Yeah, either one of those. They might have a, but from Sputnik, they they might just be able to slide right through because there's not a lot of people from Sputnik, so he will get tried less and on every aspect of prison life you know what i mean oh, so I it could maybe be a it good would be the advantage. opposite it could be too because there's no one there it, he's not like from miami where they know they're going to go in or or somebody like from, from st Lucie. they they know those guys are nuts they're going to go in nobody knows about sputnik so it could go either way i guess yeah i, I could see, see it going better for him on the less drama side though but you know yeah it could go either way it's a toss-up it's always a toss-up in prison man uh you can't really, I always tell people we could do these interviews and we could talk about prison all you want, but for real, it it ain't shit until you live it, man. You know, that's how you really understand right. it. But uh what was the prison that you went to when you had the uh law enforcement uh charge? I was Holmes, man, uh Holmes. I Holmes? was in there with uh yeah, that's when I was in with Viking, uh, a couple other guys I have on my channel. That was off the chain, bro. I could What Holmes level was, was it? I think it's about a four. It's uh it's it's crazy though, you know what I mean? It's off the chain. I, I've seen a lot of stabbings, man. Um, a lot of stuff in that in that camp. It got it's got three parts. You got a main unit, an annex, and a work camp. But uh, it, it was it was a crazy time, bro. Well, what, what the hell did you think when you saw your first stabbing, man? It was <laughs> it was nuts, man. I uh, I thought I was gonna get poked because. The first time I seen someone get stabbed, it was over an argu argument in the dorm, bro. You know when people are arguing and you hear like that, the volume change. You know what I mean? And everyone's kind of looking. So you kind of you kind of seeing what's going on for your own. You got to know what's going on. It you, you have to pay attention in there. But it was a gang. It was a head of a gang and uh, arguing with an older, an older black guy. They're both black, but. The older guy was at one point in in a, in the same gang or cousins of the gang. All right, and they were or, they were arguing about a fork. And the older guy, the ex gang member or the dropout, whatever he was, he was kind of winning the argument of, of the head and about the knowledge of the fork, whatever it is. <laughs> Dude, the next morning I go to get pancakes and. You know, I hated that tray. It was so small, you'd burn your calories off by the time you get back. Yeah. But, man, I'm right, I'm behind him, bro. And I guess because he got embarrassed about the knowledge, you know what I mean? He poked him up, bro. I literally had to step over the guy. The dude that got poked up, I had to step over him. So I was like, oh, shit, when it happened, you know what I mean? And I remember going to my bunk, bro, and I was like, I was kind of sketching because. you seen it. I seen it. I walked over it. Like, pe people are going to watch us and be like, what a dumbass. He walked over it. No way, dude. You have to think so fast. I went to my bunk, man, and I'm like, just like, shit. I tried to go go back to sleep, and the head came to my bunk. And he was just like, what's up, Big Matt? You straight? 
And I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, I'm he's like, like nah, yeah. man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, you straight? I'm like, man, I didn't see nothing, bro. You know what I mean? He was like, all right. He gave me a tap. And, uh, yeah, that was nuts, bro. So even after that little convo with them, I was still like, what oh, the fuck? Hell you know yeah. what I mean? Hell yeah. I've been on <laughs> sketch level 20 for a week straight, man, until everything was done. Because, you know, there's investigations afterwards. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so I'm going to be on edge, bro. You know? And that's why, you know, I, I've said it before. I was in violent prisons. I've seen people come out of cells crawling, leaking. I've never seen a stabbing take place. Not once. Besides when I do, did them, you know. But right. uh, I've never seen it ever. So I was kind of happy because you don't want to see that shit. Especially like how it happened to you, man. You know, if something were to happen and that dude got locked up, even if it wasn't you. He could say, you know what, that fool is the only one that's seen me. Absolutely. Get him. Get him. Put a hit on me like like that. Like Just nothing. stepping over the dude or being Dead. behind them. You know Dead. what I mean? Absolutely, bro. You're absolutely right. That's why I was sketching. You know what I mean? It, was, it wasn't – had I was not in that gang. I had nothing to do with the argument. I had nothing to do with any of it but my place in line. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, like you said, I could have got, got poked up all day for that, man. Yeah, that shit's yeah, dude. nuts, dude. Uh, that's crazy, man. Um, all right, so, you know, I've heard a lot about Florida, and mostly everything I've heard was dorm living. Uh, were you ever in cells? Do they have a lot of cell prisons? I swear, everything, even high levels, I've seen dorms. Yeah, well, the majority, man, no matter where you go, it's going to be an open bay. Um, I don't know how it is in Virginia, but in Florida, it's going to be open bay. But like you were saying about my custody, man, on this last bid, it was jacked up. So they have P buildings. I'm sure they have those in Virginia, right? Uh, like PC? N no, a T building. T building? Uh, well, like uh, the no, hole? The shoe? Well, y yeah, that's it, it would be the same thing. But you have a – well, the same uh, – structure or whatever but you have a an open bay for g-pop and then they, ha they have something called a t-wing it's uh it's just a big t you know what i mean uh -huh. and there are two men cells but the, they you'll have you know only a small percentage of that each camp that's where all your high custody people are you know that same t building that i'm talking about that's confinement is set up the same way in a t building you okay. know, but they have G pop T build T wings too. But yeah, I was in a I was in a T wing and uh and at homes in H dorm. It's like a notorious dorm, bro. I uh so much shit and there's a lot of time in that dorm. Um, I was in that I was in that dorm because I got caught with a knife. Um, and with my violent charge, they jacked my custody up even more. So. I was back there for a while, and that dorm was nothing nice, dude. I seen a guy. This is probably top three nastiest stuff I ever seen. Oh man, you try have, to try to say have, it good now. Try to say it nice yeah. for the five year olds. <laughs> okay, all right, my bad. All right, when uh, in Virginia, man, in uh, your open bay, you have open bays there, right? Yeah, but it's never, never uh, low level. I mean, high level prisons. Not that I've seen, at least. Do you have a like your 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 bunk? You either gonna have a bunk bed or yeah. a single bunk. It, um, do you have a drawer that you can pull out to put your items, canteen and stuff? Yeah, in? it's like a it's like a little metal door, but they t all the metal door. Yeah, we used to have them. They just don't know more. They've been taken for shanks, but <laughs> yeah. Do you have? Is that the only thing you have? There's in Florida, you have the same thing. You have a you know that drawer that you can pull open from your your bunk. Or they have a, a a box on the floor, so when someone comes to talk yeah. to you, that's where they usually. You have those things. Well, yeah, I've been in uh, a place called Deep Meadows that had the Foot Locker type style and a little drawer uh, on it. Yeah, it just, it just varies, but yeah. Okay, just so you can get a picture. Yeah. Um, in this dorm, H dorm, I, there was an argument, man. Um, it was it was a crazy argument. Let me try to five year old talk this, like you said. It was. Uh, <laughs> It was uh, a couple punks. I, I, you know, they had their 
there was a domestic situation going around, if you will. And uh, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. we got we got a love relation, a love entanglement in the block. Okay, one of the craziest things I've ever seen was something along those lines too. So go yeah. ahead, my friend. So they're snapping in there, man, and uh, yelling mostly. You know, they they had fought about three times in and out different. This is a T building, so they're sliding in a cell and chasing each other out, arguing. Just I mean, is it domestic. two? Is it two female punks, or is it like uh, you know the girl and the husband? You know the you know. Which yeah, one? it was a it was a, a a girl and husband type thing. Okay, so it's like a really so, uh, okay, okay. You know, and uh, the husband is chasing the the wife around, if you will, uh, all over the dorm. They slide in about three different cells, and he beats he he beats Sass three times, and I don't know what happened, why this dude was snapping, or why he was so upset at his companion. He went up on the second tier, bro, the second tier, and picked up one of those sit down lockers, not the ones that you pull out, but the ones that you would yeah, sit. Yeah, the big big ass foot lockers. The big ones, bro. Yeah, drop it. Death, I swear to you, he dropped the locker, threw it over the, the railing, bro, right on the dude's head. I, bro, that was the nastiest sound, dude. Oh, my. He could hear, hear his neck just crack. It's disgusting. It was comical to watch these dudes argue about this and stuff, but you went from laughing and kind of being a little bit nosy to like, oh, my God, what just happened? Yeah, dude, it was, it was nasty, bro. Nasty stuff. Yeah, out of there. It, honestly, bro, I ain't never seen no type shit like that in prison yeah. ever. And uh, holy shit, that, that love shit, man, uh, in prison. Oh yeah, you know it, it can get intense and, and crazy, bro. People don't understand these these, these dudes fall in love. It, it's nuts, dude. I they mean, do, dude, man. They that I, level I, where he threw a locker over the damn thing. I mean, it, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's like real relationships, man. They get jealous Absolutely. and everything. Uh, over, over here, yes, that's definitely something that's very common in Virginia. I don't know. I've been out for going on five years, so who knows? I seriously doubt it changed. But, you know, they hold – I've seen real-life fake but real marriages being taken place between these guys in the yard. They held a little, yeah. ban- a little banquet and everything type shit, man. It was crazy. Uh, but most yeah. of the fights I've seen was like the the uh, feminine right. the feminine ones fight with each other, and I ain't gonna lie, man, them shits is is, is damn funny sometimes, man. They're comical. Absolutely. Oh my god, they are They're the most funniest, comical. man. But then there's absolutely. that one, there's that one punk boy. He, you know yeah. he beat your ass. You know what I mean? I've seen oh, yeah. one or two See, of them. Oh, it's a shit. <laughs> it's a funny thing you said that, man. I uh, I seen a guy uh. It was a buddy of mine, man. He got into it with, with a punk. And, you know, the punks can fight, you know. Yeah, they're I, men. I, they're I, men I, just they're like men, us. Bro. There's, uh, my buddy was, was bumping this punk, bro, and he, they're going hit for hit. It, it, it's a good fight. And he just stopped. <laughs> he just stopped, and he, and he ran back. And I, and I never seen him run, bro. And I was like, I've seen this guy paint people, bro. And, he, and it was a good fight, like I'm telling you, hit for hit. And he just stopped, and he ran back. And we're like, what the fuck's going on? Excuse me, excuse me. I'm up. No, I'm you're back. good. You can drop one of them every now and then. And uh, yeah, man, he stopped and he's running. The dude, the dude. So now the dude is the aggressor. The the, the, the punk is chasing him now, right? So they they dead it and all that. It, it, it's you know he's literally running away. And afterwards, I'm like, bro, what, bro? You it was that. What the hell did you do, bro? Like, what was up? He's like, man, I didn't want to get sick. I didn't want to get none of that on me. Oh, you know, he's talking about you know he AIDS was a little or something. Paranoid, huh? Yeah, he didn't know. It was, so I guess the thought, the like, process, like, <laughs> right in the fight. But, hey, man, you can't blame him. You go from hanging out with your, you know, your friends and family, people that you know, to getting thrown in somewhere. It's not just HIV, you get AIDS, hepatitis. All that stuff is floating around because, you know, at the end of the day, you don't know these people you're in there with. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? And it's, it's a different, we, you know, you got to be super clean in there. I can yeah. only imagine right now with this COVID thing. That oh, my it, God. It, it, I don't even want to think about it, man. I would be... I don't know. I'd be on like quarantine as much as I could, you know, regardless of what, you know what I mean? Uh, card playing. I don't think I'd even be playing cards right now, you know? Hey, I, I guarantee, you know, they're selling bleach a little bit more expensive in there. You know, all jokes aside, it's probably became a hustle. No, that that's a guaranteed fact, you know my what I mean? friend. That is 
a fact. I know yeah. for a fact that they are selling disinfectant, bleach, whatever kind of cleaning, anything. If it's happening out here, you know yeah. what's happening in there. Absolutely, bro. You know I mean? Absolutely. Shit, I wouldn't be surprised if store box prices went up. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, they're, they're charging two for four, two for five. Hey, it's a world pandemic, fool. You can't say shit. The world's locked down, you know? Ramens are uh, $30 a piece today, man. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> my case, COVID you know, not paying me back. <laughs> yeah, that's how you got it. But that's how it is, man. I can almost assure the people watching that is exactly, maybe not that high of uh, rates, but, yeah, uh, it's definitely changing there. Um. Well, look, man, you uh, you got a YouTube channel going on, man. You, you got some pretty damn wild ass stories. I don't want to hear too many of your stories, save it for your channel. But uh, tell the people what you got going on over there. Like I said, I haven't seen any of the videos. I mean, you just telling stories right now, interviewing people. What you got going on, man? Yeah, man. What you gotta check it out. It's uh, White Boy Lockdown Radio. Um, I just I've just uploaded a lot of my stories. I try to interview people that I actually been in there with, and I know that'll be tough to continually to do, but but check it out, man. White Boy Lockdown Radio. I'm going to leave his channel linked in the comment section, description of the video for y'all to check out. Uh, I mean, is there anything, any kind of piece of advice or wisdom you'd like to give to someone that might be going into Florida prison for the first time? What what would be the best piece of advice, man? The best piece of advice I can give to somebody that's going in there, man. Stick to yourself, man. Lay low. No drama, you know, that's it, man. You know, solid solid will find solid. So as long as you're a solid individual, you'll find solid, man. And just stick to yourself, man. The three Gs, stay away from them. You know, that's common sense. But, you know, beyond that, you'll make it, man. You can do it. You don't have to join a gang. You don't have to do none of that. You can, you can make it. You can absolutely survive.